Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering Music Corp. In this week's tip, I'm going to talk about uh, what is kind of a developing situation. This is uh, July 14th, 2025. It's Monday. And you may have noticed if you use Muse Sounds, as many of us do, that they have not been available the last few days. There's been uh, an issue that has prevented Muse Sounds from being available. There is a fix in place already for Windows and Linux. It'll be in place shortly for Mac OS, but you might have to take some actions to enable a fix. So I want to show you what the problem is and how to fix it, talk a little bit about uh, what actually is going on behind the scenes. So, first of all, if you're using Muse Sounds normally and you load a score that uses Muse Sounds, when you play it back, you will probably notice, if you're affected by this, that you're not hearing Muse Sounds. You're hearing just the default MS Basic sound font. You'll also be able to verify whether you're using Muse Sounds or MS Basic by opening the mixer. And if you see under sound for each of the instruments, the names of the instruments, then you're, you're, you're probably good. Uh, in the drop-down menu, you might want to check to see that it says Muse Sounds uh, and is checked. And there's a check mark next to the specific sound pack and the specific instrument that you're using. That's how it should be. But if you're affected by this, as most of us uh, will be, um, you're not going to see those things. You'll, you won't even see the Muse sounds listed at all. The other thing that you will want to do to just sort of check on the status of things is if you go to the Help menu, Diagnostics, Muse Sampler, check Muse Sampler. And it should tell you uh, that it's detected the Muse Sampler library and that it's version 0.101.1 or later if you're uh, watching this video later. So if you don't see Muse Sounds listed in the mixer or if Muse Sampler Library is either not detected or it's an older version, then uh, you have a problem and I'm going to show you what you need to do about it. So first of all, let me talk about what Muse Sampler is. This is a library used within MuseScore to play the various Muse sounds. It's a, basically a synthesizer library that knows how to play those sounds, but it also performs the act of checking your license for any paid libraries. It checks to make sure that you have in fact paid for them and that they're, you know, the, it's a copy protection scheme so that you can't just uh, download them on one system and then copy them to other systems and, you know, distribute that, distribute them that way. So uh, what's gone wrong is, well, it's supposed to be the case that it tries to check your license, Muse Sampler tries to check your license uh, using a remote server, and if it fails because you're offline or the server went down, it's supposed to be okay. It's supposed to give you a grace period, a lengthy grace period, like days, um, to, to, uh, to get things back in order. Well, that system went awry. <laughs> the servers went down, the grace period thing failed, and all the paid sounds therefore became unavailable. And due to yet another issue with the system, even the free sounds, which shouldn't require a license check at all, they became unavailable. So. The fix is in place, as I mentioned, for Windows and Linux. In order to take advantage of that, you're going to need to get the current version of Muse Hub. So I'm going to go open up Muse Hub and show you that if you go to its settings, oh, and on um, Linux, instead of Muse Hub, it's called Muse Sounds Manager. If you're using Muse Sounds, you, you have probably used that already. Um, uh, I'm showing this on Windows because it's the most uh, common system that people would use, and Mac will be very similar. And if you look down at the bottom of the settings window, it'll tell you what version of Muse Hub you're on. 2.3.7 or later is what we are looking for here. And so if you have an older version, you're going to need to update. Now, in theory, Muse Hub can update itself, but this is not fully enabled yet as of, uh, as of today. Um, and just because of how overloaded the servers are and how much is going on, uh, it, it is not currently automatically updating. So what you're going to need to do is you are going to want to go to uh, musescore.org. Let me actually get to that page here. Um, if you go to musescore.org, and I'm going to recommend you don't click the free download button here only because uh, on Windows it should be fine. 
On Linux, it's going to probably give you an old link, and I'm not sure about Mac OS. So let's go to download software, where we know where we're going to get. And if you click the one that says download for Windows, that's going to give you MuseHub or download for Mac. On uh, Linux, you have a choice. Muse Sounds Manager is what you're looking for as opposed to Muse Hub, and it's available in several different formats. You select the one that's appropriate for your system. So you will download the version that's appropriate for your system and then run it. This is an installer, and it will install itself and it will replace the existing Muse Hub. So uh, the details on how to do that are you know, dependent on your system, but basically you click the button. Uh, if I click the download for Windows button, it's going to pop up a, a thing asking me to save it somewhere. You save it somewhere, and then you run it from that folder, and that will install it. Once it's installed, you will then have version 2.3.7, and you will want to verify that you, in fact, have that. In theory, the mere act of doing that will um, automatically update Muse Sampler as well. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, uh, one of the things you can do is go to your library here and then pick one of these. Uh, and I, the harp is like the smallest one. You could pick that. At least I think it's the smallest one. If you click under installed, you'll see an uninstall button there. Well, go ahead and uninstall it and then reinstall it. The act of Uninstalling and reinstalling one of the sounds should force Muse Sampler to be updated as well. Once you've done that, you now have the updated Muse Hub and you have the updated Muse Sampler. You can then go back to Muse Score Studio, but it's not going to automatically detect this. You're going to then have to shut it down. You're going to have to go to File, whoops, you're going to have to go to File, Quit, and Close MuseScore Studio completely. Then, when you reopen it, finally everything should be okay. And yes, it is quite unfortunate, to put it mildly, that all of this is necessary due to this kind of convergence of problems that developed over the weekend. Um, and uh, this is how it is, but at least there is now a fix for Windows and Linux and will be for Mac OS very soon. If you ever in the future see problems with Muse Sounds disappearing, you probably won't need to manually update Muse Hub, but everything else I showed is appropriate. You'll want to check the mixer to make sure to see if you have Muse Sounds there listed. You'll want to check that uh, diagnostic. You'll want to check under Help um, Diagnostics Muse Sampler, check Muse Sampler. You'll want to check and make sure that it's detecting Muse Sampler. And if not, you'll want to go over to Muse Hub see if it will automatically update Muse Sampler for you. If not, uninstall and then reinstall one of the libraries and then restart Muse Score Studio should keep you going. Also, just be aware that you do need to kind of keep Muse Hub running in the background if you want to access these paid libraries on an ongoing basis because of that whole license server check thing. So uh, if you close Muse Hub completely, it's going to give you that grace period uh, where you can still access the library for a while, but at some point it's going to need to be able to access the server. So you will have to fire up Muse Hub every once in a while just to make sure uh, it can do the license checking. So I recommend just leaving it up all the time. That way it can also do the automatic updates to your libraries. So this was a long tip, but I know it's... um. Uh, a timely topic that's affecting a lot of people, so hopefully you find this useful.